gentlemen and we are back together all right so we are concluding on this may june technical maths question paper so please if you haven't subscribed just make sure that you're part of the family all right so the last question that we have here says the sketch below shows function g which is defined by g of x which is 2 raised to the exponent x plus 2 this is definitely a an exponential function and the shaded area uh, bounded by the curve g and the y-axis that's between negative one and three right now they say to you determine the area of the shaded area or uh, shaded region rather show all working details so ladies and gents whenever we are working through the area of something now please remember what are we going to do it means we are going to take the integral right of this function that we have now we're given the function okay uh, our battery is almost uh, over so the area of any function or under any function will be the integral so they said between negative one and three right so from neg negative one to three of this function g of x but we know that the function is given to us as 2x or 2 raised to the exponent x plus 2. Okay, and this is with respect to x. Okay, right. So we need to now note in this case that would be the integral of 2 raised to the exponent of x dx plus the integral of minus of 2 with respect to x now this one is very uh, uh, simple um, we know that's simply going to be 2x but so when you go back to your list of integrals anytime we are uh, taking the integral of a to the exponent of x this is going to give us a to the x right raised to the exponent x plus uh, or rather divided by lin of a so this will give us okay that will be 2 exponent of x this is divided by lin of 2 plus the integral of this guys just simply becomes 2x okay and so that will give us the area uh, between the two but remember we still need to substitute the values on this between negative one and three and that's what we're going to do next um, we are simply going to say two raised to the exponent of three divided by lin of two plus 2 times 3, right? So I'm substituting where I see x, I'm going to substitute 2, I mean uh, 3, minus, I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm just going to write it at the bottom there. That's going to be 2 raised to the exponent of negative 1, okay? And we are really running out of battery life. So divided by lin 2, Okay, plus 2 times negative 1. All right, so what do we do? We just simply put this in our calculator. Okay, I'm going to do that very quickly because our battery is quickly running out. Okay, I'm going to put this in brackets. So I'm going to say 2 raised to the exponent of 3. right divided by lin and please note we are using the lin function usually we are not used to it okay but please remember it is in your calculator this is plus two times three okay and i'm going to close brackets but i'm going to subtract from it okay once again put that in brackets that's going to be two uh, raised to the exponent 
of negative 1, right? It's negative 1. And this is, oops. Okay, so I just need to fix this. Let me rather use the fraction bat button. Uh, 2 raised to the exponent of negative 1. And this is divided by lin 2 again. Right, and we add 2 times negative 1. And please be very meticulous on this. I get a value 18.82. That would be the area of the shaded region, right? So that would be 18.82. Um, I don't think we we're given uh, what units this is. So this would be units squared. All right, ladies and gents, that is how you are going to do integrals. We are going to leave it there. All right. And hopefully you would have earned yourself that whole 150 marks. Please, guys, let's make sure that we prepare well for the exams. But from me, your favorite uncle, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.